Hello everyone! Today we are going to make a quick test of this Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 uh, smartphone. Uh, I'm going to run two applications today. Uh, that's the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 3 applications. I just want to see how uh, this uh, device is uh, actually performing uh, when compared with other similar devices. I have to remind you this is a 5.5 uh, inch uh, display that uh, the phone has. It also has uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage with the possibility to increase that to up to 40, uh, 64 uh, gigabytes with micro SD card. So let's go ahead and run Antutu benchmark and see how this phone will perform. I will leave the phone to perform all the tests and the 3D um, tests as well so uh, if you're interested to see the results you can skip ahead uh, otherwise we'll continue just after Antutu with Geekbench 3 So, there you have it. These are the results. Uh, we have to say that the overall score is 29,738 rating. There is no data. That's quite low, I have to say. So, you can see the individual scores here. 3D, UX, CPU, RAM. Uh, the highest score is CPU. You can see actual score here by individual details 3d ux highest score here is for data secure ram there's no detailed overview i want to see the ranking where is this phone ranking among the other devices so you have to scroll 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 down there you go number 21 my device Vodafone smart smart ultra 6 29,000 that's quite low I have to say uh, usually when I run these tests on the Samsung devices that we have Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and Galaxy S6 Edge we are around this this number here in the top 10 but I am not surprised that the result is that low here because this device the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 is a budget device uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money you can get it for a little more than a hundred pounds and it's cheap let's let's face it it's cheap but it's actually a pretty decent phone um, so yeah uh, you can take what you want from these results. I'll go ahead and do the Geekbench uh, testing as well, just to see how it will perform on that and how well it scores among the other devices that are similar to it. Uh, this test hopefully will take less time than uh, Antutu. Antutu obviously runs more complicated tests. So let's see Geekbench. Uh, while this is running I have to add that the Antutu uh, test in real life terms it took more than six minutes to run so that was quite a lot of time to wait for the results to show up and obviously it shows that even though with the two gigabytes of RAM this phone is a bit slow and the graphics are not ideal not very good uh, that's why and probably the overall uh, low score so you can see that Geekbench 3 is also running quite slow compared to what we have with Samsung devices obviously it's much slower but still let's see what the final result will show 65 and waiting 
So if you are a bit impatient, you can skip ahead and see the final result because actually it's taking more time than we want to. Okay, so speed up again, almost there, 93, 95, yeah, right, so these are the results guys, single core score, 661, that's quite poor, multi core score, 2305, the operating system you can see here is Android 511. And you can see other information about the phone. Let's see, single core, your device. Well, it's scoring really badly here. You can see Nexus 9, Samsung Galaxy S6, obviously twice and even like higher results, twice the number here. Uh, let's see on multi-core, where it's scoring. Yeah, again, Samsung Galaxy S6, twice the number, but four times the price, so, you know, it's not that bad actually, if, if you think about it and you compare the prices of these phones this is 120 pounds, pounds if you are lucky, 100 if you get it on even on sale so yeah, these are the results, so I, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and if you did, click that thumbs up button, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video, thanks a lot, bye bye